My name is Jake Daly. I'm a sales manager here. And today we'll be looking specifically at how demand forecasting can help in the retail sector. As you're planning for big events and understanding some of your items may be seasonal, you need to know specifically how to plan for that. If we look here at this particular data set, we can see that you have a very seasonal period in those spring and summer months. That means that I likely have a lot of seasonal products there, but I may have different product lines to try and combat some of this seasonality to have revenue across all of my business. What this tool allows me to do is see where those areas are. Right now, I'm looking at my company as a whole, so I can see what the forecast demand is going to be right now in units as a whole. Specifically looking at a category in this instance, we're forecasting pies. So I can look at a product line like cream pie and then understand, okay, if I'm looking at now not the whole company, but just my particular product line, what is the forecast going to look like? Then I can understand if I make an adjustment to this demand of this product line at a high level, how's that going to affect all the items in here? Well, let's see. If sales says or marketing says we're going to see a bump in 20% of our products, I can factor this in here and then I can see the change already represented here to know what's going to be more realistic of what I should be planning for. That's good at a category level and at a unit level, but now I need to understand, well, for this product line, what's my revenue looking like? I come up here to unit of measure, and then I can see more specifically, well, actually right now we are looking at this in revenue. I can look at this in inventory units, and then I can understand, okay, from an inventory perspective, what are we looking at? You can get a better idea when you're converting from a retail perspective, salespeople's forecasts into inventory units, how much you need to buy when working with your customers so that when somebody comes to buy your product at a specific location, you don't miss out on those sales opportunities because of it. When you're looking specifically at sales and revenue, when you're looking at inventory in units, and when you're looking at your profit margin to ensure that you have the inventory you need so that when any of your customers goes to a retail location to find your product, you don't miss out on key sales opportunities. Thank you.